Hello everyone uh, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to make materials. So for those who don't know what a material is, a material is basically what gives our object the way how it looks. So color, texture, you know, maps, reflections, glossiness, everything. So to make a material you have to open your material editor by clicking this button right here or you can press M on your keyboard and uh, that is our basic material editor if you are using uh, uh, 2011 3 Max version you probably will come up with something like this which is the new material editor but uh, I'm actually don't like to work with this in spite of the fact that it's actually quite easier to work with not actually easier but it gives a little bit of it makes your work faster so but I, I don't like to work with this and uh, if you have this material this new material editor enabled you just click and hold in your material button right here and select the first option which is the default material editor so the first time you open this you probably have something like this with only six slots of materials and you can hit X on your keyboard to cycle cycle through the sample slots the quantity of sample slots that you, that, that you have so or you just go to options and cycle it that's how I normally work and that's each of these slots right here represent a material and uh, I'm going to explain the difference between materials maps and textures uh, in a moment so how do we change the color of the material you can just go to the diffuse uh, option right here click this gray box and you can change it you can choose the color that you want and uh, you can see that our material just changed the color so if you want you can double click in the slot of this material and uh, a new window will come up and that's easier to see details in a material that you're making if it's a, it's a you know a complex material and uh, it will auto update as you change the its properties so that's it uh, how do we apply a material actually let me change this color because the objects in our scene are already red so I have a blue material right here how do we assign it to our objects you can just click and drag your material to an object you can select an object and then click this button right here assign material to selection and uh, what else right so now let's start with the good stuff so maps maps are basically any kind of a uh, image that will give you your material on a specific property like a, a bump map which gives a nice you know a bump <laughs> we have a reflection refraction displacement these are pretty much self-explanatory so I'm not going with through all of these I'm just going to the bump map because it's the most common to use so I'm going to click the none S so by the way here we have the type of the the map and here we have our map slot so right now in all of them are s no ob no maps so you can just click none in your bump map to select uh, a map and uh, go to this 
map tab and then standard and uh, you can select one of these maps right here so I'm going with I don't know maybe a noise and uh, I'm going to double click my slot again and you can see now we have a very noisy map so we can increase the tiling of it something like that uh, and uh, now we are in our noise map window so to go back to the main window you just click this button right here go to parent and you can see now that in the bump map it's the map noise that we just uh, added and if you want to add this map you can just always click on that and add it any way you want so go back to your parent map material actually and here we have the amount of the effect that the map has on the material so if I want I can increase the bump amount to 100 and you can see that we have a higher bump amount and uh, I can add a reflection I don't have that I can add a reflection like uh, I don't know ray trace like this and select reflection go back to the parent and uh, this is reflecting everything around it so let's go up to the basic parameters right here and we can increase the specular level and increase the glossiness and you can see that our material now looks kinda cool so uh, by the way if you want you can click this background option right here which makes a background appear in the material slot so you can see your material quite better uh, and uh, some of these uh, <coughs> uh, options are pretty much self-explanatory self-explanatory as I said before so I'm not going through all of these you can just mess around like any any way you want I'll probably probably make a more advanced tutorial of this later so right the difference between maps and textures uh, some people actually don't understand the concept of a map and they call everything here a texture they are in a way right so it's like a, a, in 3ds max the terminology texture doesn't actually exist in spite of the fact that most people that work with 3ds max use the word texture everything in 3ds max it's which is a, an image of a, a, an outside image if you will are called maps so but we also call them textures so a, a map can be a texture and a texture can be a map so if you if I say a texture consider me to say a map so actually I, I kinda like to refer as textures anything that will appear in the diffuse channel right here which uh, is this so if you click none in the diffuse ma map you can select a bitmap and I can choose any image that I want like uh, something like this and uh, that's what I usually call a texture but it's not actually it's not a, a specific difference between texture and maps you can use them they both both te terminologies so uh, anything else well I guess that's it just play around with the the maps uh, I'm going to make another tutorial soon so I guess that's it right uh just one more thing we changed changed the the diffuse map 
and uh, it didn't make anything different in our viewport that's because we need to activate the show standard map in the viewport this will show our map which I just called the texture a moment ago uh, in the viewport so if this is not active it won't show the map in the viewport it's actually it, 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 w it will uh, render it but it won't show in the viewport so just have that in mind uh, I guess that's it just practice and uh, see you guys later